Hi Scorpio, this is your reading. I hope you are doing well. I'm going to share with you what I have for you for the month of June. Also, before I start, I just wanted to mention that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month. If you would like to purchase any personal services with me, they are listed down below and also on shopmoonlightguidance.com. There's personal tarot readings, rituals to manifest different areas of your life, black magic energy removal, healing work and prayers, and so much more on there. And also there is the intention items which thousands of people have seen results with. The review section for that is at the bottom of my website, but there are items that I meditated with and staged, and there's items like bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards which you can put under your pillow, your wallet or your purse, sage bundles, candles and teas. So feel free to check it out if you would like to. Okay, Scorpio, let's see. Oh, oh, what a way to start. What a way to start. So we've got the two of cups. I'm not even kidding when I say I feel like the same kinds of cards have been coming out throughout all 12 of the signs, which is a huge synchronicity. It tends to happen actually um, from zodiac sign to zodiac sign, which by the way, guys, is the reason why I haven't really been doing zodiac sign readings, because I've actually found that the individual readings that I've been posting have actually been relating so well to the collective. And so that's why I've been doing the, the signs which are for like, all, sorry, the readings which are for all signs, right? So I just feel like there's just such a synchronicity between all the signs, right? now especially over the last three months that that's kind of why i haven't really been posting zodiac sign readings because i'm basically saying the same thing in the readings literally literally you you will see it okay if you've been watching this series that i've done for june 22 you will see it and you will see exactly what i mean so you know there's a reason for that there is a reason um and it's you know it's just it's just how it is i know that a lot of people love the zodiac sign readings and i can totally understand that um but also as a as a reader if I can condense it into one video, which I know that, you know, um, people will watch and then they, you know, they will find that it still resonates with them. You know, for me, rather than repeating the same thing over and over again for every single sign, <laughs> it makes sense, right? I mean, yes, there are variations. There's still little differences here, but there are certain messages that are very similar. Um, and, you know, collective readings can still resonate, you know, I mean, it's a bit, bit like going to school, you know, we don't have different schools based on different zodiac signs, <laughs> everyone kind of goes and, and still, you know, is, is learning sort of in a very similar way. So I think that, you know, that's one of the things as well. So it's just something to keep in mind. But I feel what's really interesting here is that um, temperance literally goes to show that, you know, you've been very patient, you've been waiting for things to come together, you know, you're a very patient person overall, but you've been so patient to the point where sometimes you're like, what on earth, like, is anything actually ever going to happen? I definitely feel that this reading is much more romantic. There's definitely some unexpected communication that's going to come your way, especially with the page of wands and the knight of wands and the king of wands i mean you've literally got the one family here apart from the queen and this definitely goes to show that there is a very strong fiery energy potential fire sign aries leo sagittarius um, who's going to come to you with some unexpected communication which will change the course of things because then you'll know where you stand you will know that they care about you you will know that they feel affection and intimacy and attraction towards you two of cups here they do feel very strongly towards you and i do feel here that in the second half of june which by the way i've been saying i swear to god in every single <laughs> zodiac sign reading the second half of june collectively is a very very strong period of time because the mercury retrograde and the shadow period will be over there's going to be much more flow there's going to be much more direction people are going to be less confused less stressed lessons that they learned during the time of the retrograde they will be able to adapt and really put into place in the second half of june it will give you confidence you know and strength to know exactly where you stand with this person so when they come to you let them you know let them talk let them say what they got to say um let them prove themselves to you you know don't just jump in straight away and be like yeah yeah it's fine don't apologize it's all good you know let them let them let them let them say what they've got to say let them come to you with their communication you know especially if you have had a misunderstanding for some of you they're coming to you and expressing themselves for the first time let them do so you know i think that's very important listen to what they've got to say i think that's extremely powerful extremely significant there you go you know king of swords let them let them speak <laughs> let them activate their throat chakra because it's going to be unexpected. It's going to happen when you least expect it. And the Nine of Pentacles shows that also in terms of, of your finances, there's a new opportunity that's going to come your way that's going to feel make you feel very secure in terms of your finances. It's a little piece of the puzzle that just kind of comes together and just makes you go like, yes, now I'm where I want to be. So if you've been applying for a new job, that can also mean that you get accepted, for example. If you've been trying to ask for a raise, it means that they can really consider you for that and give that to you. And also bonus, 
promotion. I really see a huge uplift in regards to that and things becoming so much stronger. Love is here definitely shows that romantically, you know, there's someone here that really is thinking about you. They really like you. They really care about you. They really appreciate you, you know, for who you are. There you go again with the finances. I definitely feel like your work life is becoming stronger. I feel like there is money that is coming your way that you may not expect that it's coming your way, but then it does come your way. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Um, and then of course we have got here the Hermit. We've got the King of Cups. We've also got the Page of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords. Wild, which is Saturn. Ten of Cups. Also Jupiter here as well. Okay, one second. Let me just put Jupiter down here. Okay, so this changes things, okay, because emotionally, now you know where you stand. Now you know that they really care about you. They like, you know, they like you. You start to see them as a counterpart. You start to feel a bit more secure and less lonely. Now, loneliness is, is something that um, isn't necessarily a bad thing, okay? It's, it's not a bad thing. I just feel that some of you have been quite secure within yourself, but you've always wanted a companion. Um, I don't think that you're completely in a codependent person. I think that to a degree, you're very independent. I think you know yourself. You know you know your emotions. You know who you are. Comes through with the King of Cups. This just further strengthens you know, that sense of like, oh, I've always known this, you know, I've always known this, I've always felt this within myself, they've only come and told me what I already knew. So it makes you feel stronger, right? Um, and then, of course, with them being in your life and, and really, you know, wanting to move things along with you, you feel less lonely because now you have someone to like talk to, you know? So that's another thing with the Hermit is you have someone to talk to, you have someone to, you know, chat with and, and, and share, you know, things with as well. That makes you feel good, which um, with the Page of Pentacles, you feel more rejuvenated, more uplifted. You are then also going to find that that energy carries into your work life to really improve things. And you'll find that your finances also improve. You'll find that people in your workplace are really looking onto what you're doing and being like, good job, you know, good job, that's amazing, you're doing really well, you're doing things, you know, in a really, really lovely way, we like what you're doing, we like how you carry yourself, we like your energy, we appreciate it, they will be very complimenting, complimenting, yeah, complimenting, and you will also find, very, you know, yourself feeling very happy, um, especially in regards to your home life as well, because the world really does, um, show that. It really um, puts a magnifying glass on just, you know, how good you are at doing some of those things and putting yourself in that particular place of strength and confidence and moving yourself to that particular aspect as well, you know, um, of strength and confidence and, and things really moving in the right direction as well from what I'm seeing. So I definitely feel like there's a lot of really positive energy and there's just a really lovely energy here of things, you know, moving in the right direction and just giving you a lot of happiness and fulfillment. So that's obviously really, really positive from what I'm picking up on. And I just feel that there's such a lovely energy overall as well. Now, the other thing that I want to mention is that I'm going to grab these other cards, but yeah, there's someone here that's starting to see a future with you, so they really want to open up to you and talk to you, and I feel that that's very much so going to happen, because step by step, they'll do a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, and the step really starts in the second half, from what I see here in June, and uh, this will give you confidence, and then also I just see that, you know, other areas of your life are going to improve as well, um, as well, so yeah, nice. We've got here envelope, so it says unfolding and surprise, so there you go, right? I said that the communication will come unexpectedly, and you know, the envelope reminds me of notifications, emails, you know, conversations, text messages, uh, things like that. So that's obviously really, really strong. And also um, in regards to your work as well, I do feel that you could be getting some kind of promotion raise, you know, um, or it could be you know, an acceptance into something. We've got here I, which is uh, envy and protection. So just know that there can be people around you because your energy is so high vibrational. There can be people around you that are a little bit jealous, you know, just one or two people. Majority of the people will be very um, so celebrating, you know, your energy, the things that you do, how you do it, how you go about things. But there can be some people that are a little bit envious, you know, they kind of just... Um, you know, have that energy towards you. However, what you can do to protect yourself from that is, um, you know, if you have evil eye items around you, then that can really help to protect you from that. There are also evil eye items on the website. There are protection items on the website as well, which, um, you know, you can wear. Actually, I have one of my bracelets here as well. Uh, this is one of the evil eye bracelets. But, um, you know, you can basically keep these um, items around you. There's also the tie bracelets, which are the best sellers, actually. And you just tie them on. You can shower in them. You can sleep in them. You can live your life in them. Um, there's anklets as well and, you know, pouches and things like that, which you can place around you or in your... Um, bag. You can put them, around, you know, on your desk. You can put them under your pillow. It just absorbs that energy. 
but yeah, that's that's what I have here. So that's that. Oh, this is an interesting one. And actually, do you know what? I did see the house here as well. So I do see that there is an energy here for home. You know, some of you might be looking at homes. You might be thinking of like wanting to, um, you know, research homes, look at what's on the market because we have here real estate, residence and property. So you might be thinking about, you know, where you're living and, you know, making changes to that. I definitely see that here as well. We also have past love. So it says in the past and past lovers. So I definitely feel that there is someone from the past that can be very triggered to come towards you. However, I do overall see as well that for those of you that just want a new love, there can be this new love that comes through too. So yeah, there's definitely a past love that's being triggered. Like I mentioned, um, I did mention an energy of apology and I did mention that certain people are learning lessons over Mercury retrograde. So you know, um, the Mercury retrograde is kind of over by the time you get to like the second half because there is a shadow period, okay? The actual retrograde finished, I believe, on the 4th of June, but, uh, or the 3rd of June, 3rd, 4th, <laughs> it was somewhere along there, and then there's a two-week shadow period, but um, yeah, you know, past lovers can really feel the effects of, like, what you meant to them as well, so that's another thing, but there is this sense here of someone romantically who you would like to come towards you actually coming towards you. So that's what we have there. This is your reading. Now, of course, um, your affirmation here, which I think is really, really interesting, is... Um, I, I welcome, you know, I, I welcome these changes. I welcome these changes because that's what's going to come to you in your envelope, you know, your spiritual envelope. So um, comment that down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, check out the description box below for information on personal services, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items, which are on my website. And I will see you all very, very soon. All right, take care, everyone. Take care. Bye.